this is Myra. I wanted to make a quick video about my lip biopsy I had yesterday as my final test for Sjogren's disease. Sjogren's, it's spelled S-J-O-R-G-R-E-N-S. -E it's an autoimmune disease that I've been tested for and I've had symptoms for probably for about seven years. My very first symptom was dry eyes. I had really itchy, burning, dry eyes, and I used to go like this. I would like push on them and like try to get the itching and burning to go away. And my eye doctor never even noticed until two and a half years ago, I actually went to have a LASIK evaluation. And the doctor, a different doctor, and he said, Myra, you have like really bad dry eye. Has not, has your eye doctor not noticed this? Because I wore contacts and I was like, no. He's like, it's really bad. Like he did, he did the dry eye test right away. Anyway, he prescribed Zydra right away. And I was like, oh my gosh, now I'm on prescription eye drops. These are little individual vials that you do once a night and once a, uh, every, right before bed and then in the morning. So I was like, okay. And then he re prescribed this retain during the day, which are also individual vials, but they don't have, um, uh, Stuff, bad stuff in it, so this is like the healthier version. So I started doing that, not thinking anything of it. Um, just thought, that's weird, I have dry eyes. I kind of realized that I had dry mouth, but I really wouldn't have vocalized that. I didn't know who to tell. I didn't really. But anyway, a couple years ago, and you guys know if you've seen my other videos, I got sick and I had so much fatigue and cold, and I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's, and a few months later with thyroid cancer. So just a year ago, I had a total thyroidectomy barely see right there. So anyway, I've been going through this journey and I started talking to my endocrinologist about all these symptoms. Like I was having trouble swallowing and then I had a choking incident and I just realized like I needed to just drink water all the time. And literally my mouth just gets so dry and I like pause weirdly because I have this breathlessness thing going on and then I started having dental issues like cavities out of the blue starting five years ago. Never had had a cavity up until that date. I had sealants from as a child. So anyway, after all this, my endocrinologist sent me to a rheumatologist, which I just went to like a month ago. And he said, did a blood test, and I did have some of the antibodies, like the A and A antibody, and then there's like another one, SS, an SSA and SSB. And so I didn't have all of them, so he said you should get a lip biopsy. That'd be like the best way. You have so many of the symptoms, Meyer. The biggest, of course, dry eye, dry mouth, and swallowing issues, and choking. And I just got diagnosed with GERD, which is acid reflux, which is also a Sjogren's um, symptom. So I was like, oh my gosh, this does seem like I would have this. So yesterday I had a lip biopsy and there was like no videos on here. I could watch the procedure, but I, there was no testimony. So I decided to make one real quick for you. So I went to an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. So the rheumatologist sends you to the ENT surgeon. And it's just an in-office procedure. So they gave me, uh, they sh first shot um, like liquid onto my lip of lidocaine to like um, numb where they have to give me the shots. But you know, if you've had a cavity, you know how they like give you those shots into your cheek. So it's bad, but it's it's tolerable. They he pulled out my lip and he sh gave me shots into my lip, and it felt like he was going in and out and in like a like a sewing needle. I think what what he was doing was just going sh pushing some in and then moving and pushing some more and then moving and pushing, but it just felt like he was sewing on my lip, which was weird, and it hurt, but. You know, you want your lip to be good enough because I was like, I'm not going to feel this, am I? And I had watched a few, like, just videos on YouTube of the procedure, which looks horrible. And I don't encourage you to watch them unless you're okay with blood because your lip bleeds a lot and it's bloody. So um, he then left for like 10 minutes, came back, thought it was pretty numb. The nurse is with him. So they pull my lip back and they're just going to do it right then. And right away, he, I, felt it. So I had my eyes closed and I'm leaning back, right? And I knew he had like the scalpel and he had told me that he's just going to cut some salivary glands out because that's a good way for them to test for Sjogren's. Because if your salivary glands have like atrophy or damage or something that they're looking for. All right. So 
I then feel him make like three cuts and I asked him later and he had done it in this like kind of like in a, like a not like maybe not a triangle but like he was cutting to to open a flap to like cut out this glass Ew. <laughs> so gross anyway I could feel it and then he, he snipped it with scissors I think they cut that skin off and I was I jerked and he was like can you feel that and I'm like I know I'm like yes <laughs> I'm like yes he's like that's not good well all of a sudden like He's like, I gotta give you another shot. So then they're, he's giving me another shot. And he's already, I'm already bleeding. So the nurse is like trying to keep the blood down, of course. And so then they give me another shot to numb it better, which I could feel. So clearly it wasn't all numb. And um, then like, I totally started getting nauseous. And I say, oh my gosh, I'm about to throw up. And they were like, so then they laid me completely flat. They put like wet compresses on my head and my neck. And I was like, I'm sorry, and then they were laughing. They're like, it's fine, and then the doctor was like, it's usually guys that do this. I'm like, oh well, I guess I'm not as tough as the guys, the other girls. So, um, they cut out little salivary glands. I wish I'd taken a picture. They're like little red BBs. They're like little circles almost. And he had, he did three, and they he had them in a little vial and showed them to me, and then they stitched up my lip and put three stitches in and I, I could feel it, you know, it's pressure. You can feel them pulling and tightening the stitch. And then that's it. And then he said like, you know, your lip is going to be swollen and um, the stitches are going to dissolve within three days. I don't even need to go back to him because I'm just going back to my rheumatologist who will get the results in a week. Um, unless of course I had complications. So I'll show you like there's where it's all cut and you can barely, you probably can't see. There's like the stitches. Well, so he made me sit in the lobby for a few minutes because I had had that like queasiness. And because I drove myself, of course. And then I came home and I went to work and I had a bunch of meetings. And so I was like on the phone. I work from home. So I was talking a lot. And I realized that one of my stitches was like hitting my teeth, like the string on it. And then later I was talking at like 5 p.m. And because this was at like 9 a.m. And all of a sudden, that little string is on my tongue. And I'm like, oh, one of my stitches just came out. And I'm like, oh, no. So I talked to my PA friend. I'm like, this is bad. And I could taste blood in my mouth. And I could see that it was bleeding slightly. So my PA friend was like, you have to stop talking. And, like, especially smiling and laughing. Because every time I, like, smile, it, like, pulls, you know, on that incision. And the bad thing is you don't want it to keep bleeding. So I then didn't talk from like 6 p.m. last night all the way till now, which is like noon the next day. It's Saturday now, so. And the second stitch I felt was coming out last night too. So then I was like, don't move my mouth. And so I didn't talk at all. And I was just texting people. I went to the movie and I didn't have to talk. So anyway, I've been putting ice. I have like an ice pack on it um, 10 minutes every hour because... It was huge this morning. I've already iced it twice, so you can see it's gotten much better. But my whole lip is fat, and I feel all weird about it. It doesn't really hurt. It hurts, like, if I push on the stitches on the inside. But, like, I can push on it. Ouch. But I slept fine. It doesn't hurt. But it was a doozy. Oh, and also, they said to put salt. Or I saw this I saw this online. Um, Swirl. Swish with salt after you eat. When I, and by the way, yesterday I barely ate because I didn't want to chew and make it bleed more. So I ate some soft stuff in the back and chewed in the back as best I could. But um, that's it. That's my lip biopsy. And it's just, hopefully the swelling will go down tomorrow before church. But I hope this is helpful. Love you guys. Bye.